Hi, my name is Gabriel Laurent. And I'm Renat Hyrulin. We are directors of Start Accelerator. Which is a part of Start a VC, where we find, foster, and fund early stage international tech talent coming into the US market. And today you'll see the demo day, the conclusion of Batch 15 or Spring 2023 cohort, where founders from different parts of the world, like Argentina, Nigeria, Spain, India, will present and pitch their startups. And this is a three month program. So these founders coming from all those countries were not just mentioned, come here in New York City for three months where they have workshops, interns, coaching sessions. They literally put their blood, sweat, and tears into making this a reality. And what you're about to see is the culmination of all of that hard work. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enjoy the pitches. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kate. Linguist, founder of Familingua, on a mission to create a better connected, multicultural, multilingual world. And here's the problem. If you'd like to take your company global, just learning a language is not enough. Just last year, we received a request from a client, Max, from an international company based in Argentina. His sales team was expanding to Brazil and US, and Max admitted that he was struggling in communication with his new colleagues and it was tough on sales. Then we prepared special program in language, culture, and soft skills for his team. And while we were doing that, we discovered that Max and his team were not alone. In fact, just in the US, international companies lost more than $1.2 billion due to miscommunication. And currently, there is no proven solution that would combine culture training, soft skills across languages, and basic language training. So what do we offer? Well, when Max and his team finished the training, they gave us feedback and they said that Amalingua brings teams together by programs designed for global business. In fact, we strengthen teams and improve the efficiency of their communication. And how do we do that? By providing employees and companies with a platform to track their progress, with synchronous and asynchronous materials, and a team of experts and tutors to accompany them along the way. We compete in an ad tech market that last year was $220 billion. However, we are focusing just on Latam and US, specifically in the verticals of IT and banking, which is like around $1 billion. It's good for a start, and then we can focus on other verticals and other markets. Well, how do we grow? We grow via communities and partnerships. We've worked with a few dozens of startups and currently we are focusing on enterprises and we have four big clients. And we have a few, like 10, in the following couple of months to close good deals. Our current average revenue is $12,000 per month and it's growing. And when we talk about our competition, well, you can say that we are similar to Lingoda and AF, However, we are not just about language learning. We are focusing on intercultural communication and soft skills training for business. As for our traction, since we've received EU grant funding, we've been developing our platform, growing our team, training more than 10,000 people, and focusing on B2B and B2B2C in order to scale up faster. And as for our core team, it consists of 15 people and we have over 100 experts and tutors in our team and we are growing this pool. We have absolutely stellar advisors and we are looking for partnerships and investors to help us to grow in the following two years. We are asking for $1.2 million to scale up in B2B and of course introductions in corporate world. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm Kate founder of Familingua. Let's create a better connected, multicultural, multilingual world together. Sustainability. What a term these days. It means many things for many people. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Hi, my name is Santiago Meneses. I'm the co-founder of Trioma. We create native tropical forest as an environmental strategy for small and medium companies. Believe me, any real solution for the climate crisis that we're taking today, that we're facing today, involves the reforestation of the tropics. Everybody wants to get involved, from stakeholders to customers to business owners. I used to be one of those. 
we are here. We are a hassle-free, quantifiable environmental strategy for companies. When you go out there and see our competitors, it's kind of a one-size-fits-all. We differentiate because we have a tailor-made proposal for every company. Our purpose is to link the markets with sustainability. So how it works? First, we go there and measure the impact of your company. Then we set a price and set a quantity with the company. We go and plant and reference the forest for you and generate the data that is worth to share. Our average package it's 125 trees per month per company that has the potential capture of 33 tons of CO2, which are $7 per tree. We launched two years ago and we have planted more than 100,000 trees. Last year, we made, we made $70,000 just with Colombian companies. Our goal is to work here in the US with 700 companies by the end of 2024. The team that's going to make it possible, it's Maria and Sara, two amazing women, Juan Camilo, CEO and my co-founder, and me, Santiago Meneses. We're seeking for $400,000 for 15% equity. Thank you very much. This is how athletes have improved in the last 70 years. How can you improve this match in the next seven? I'm Alvaro Moraza, a sports scientist, AI researcher and coach of some of these billion of players that are training very hard to be as good as possible. Like every coach, I want to design the best possible training regimen for them. But we are very limited for this task. First, this is a very complex task. AI uh, sports sciences don't help enough, don't have an absolute answer. My human mind and my available time are very limited and the current tools don't help. They are only just databases of generic exercises. These inefficiencies brings three main drawbacks. We are losing billions of dollars of potential value of professional athletes. It's the main reason why 70% are dropping out from sports, what means a huge loss, economical and social loss for youth organizations. And Coaches are spending too much time on this task. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. We have seen how AI is helping scientists in other areas to make a progress that is the equivalent of one billion of years of PhD work. And also AI is pushing the boundaries of the humanity. This is why we funded DIRUS. It's the next logical step in sports. Dyrus is the first generative AI that designed custom and optimized, optimized exercises and training sessions as proposals for coaches. Dyrus enhances coaches' capacities to help them to be up to 96% more time efficient, help them to increase the performance of their players and reduce their injuries, and also increase the revenue of uh, youth organizations by increasing uh, retention and also increasing the revenue of the professional teams by increasing the value of their professional uh, players. So how does it work? The first step is to evaluate their players, the coach evaluate their players and can also add uh, their data from other sports data providers. Then they set the goals and the AI do its job. Create those custom and optimized exercises and training sessions proposals then the coach have the last say. The business model consists on a premium su subscription that goes uh, from prices from two to $18 per player per month. And we want to reach the professional level in the 2026 with a tailored, tailored pricing. The size of the market is a $2.4 billion, uh, $2 .4 billion uh, sum. And we want to, to reach the $850,000 dollars in the next years as revenue. The current competitors are offering that, databases of generic exercises that don't solve the problem because they are very time consuming to look through and at the end don't fit as they should. We have the opportunity to become the dominant platform that take all that data from those sport analytics providers and turn it into uh, actionable output. 
we can build also a data network effect by modeling how human being improves and performs in the sport. In that new era of, of new generative AI revolution, we, we want to conquer the training, uh, the training, uh, sports training realm. We started directly working with coaches to validate the market and develop for them. And then we switch to, to start to target the managers of, of those professional teams to, uh, to grow faster. And we have now the first paid, payment, uh, paid uh, pilot agreement to work with their academies. We started with soccer, then we will go to basketball and football, reaching uh, 25 million of revenue in 2026. I'm the CEO of the company with a background in sports science, business and AI. Uh, Miguel is the CTO who is a full stack developer, also entrepreneur and a former basketball player. And Adrian, uh, uh, one of our AI researchers, is a, uh, won a, an AI contest. And Andrew is uh, our CMO who was a, a, C, a product marketing manager in five big techs. In the advisory side, we have very strong advisors who were uh, executives in, in big techs, in professional teams, and now the RBCs. And we also have the interest of one AI rockstar who was uh, a core researcher in an open AI uh, paper. So please, if you want to join this new Gen AI race on sports training, contact us. Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Olowe, CEO and co-founder of Dr. Connect. I started Dr. Connect to save lives. I'll tell you a story about my friend Jim, Jim of the blessed memory. You will never get to meet him. He died at 42 with diabetes, which he never knew he had. He stepped on something in his office and he realized that his wound would not heal. Unfortunately, his leg was amputated and he was depressed. At the time of his death, he left two wife, had a wife and two kids. And I promised myself there would be no more gym as long as God gave me breath. That's why we started Dr. Connect. Dr. Connect is moving us from reactive care to proactive care. Our solution is very simple. We bring you in or we come to you. We do a baseline examination or some wellness examination tool for you. We combine that with DNA analysis to give us what is happening now in your body and what might happen in the future. And we're able to come up with an evidence-based plan that we create for you to give you a lifestyle management plan. With our digital devices, all your digital devices, we're able to collect information back on the system in real time for us to be able to adjust your care as needed. And all of this is taking place on one platform. What we're doing is saving you time and saving you money. We have traction. We've been, we, we started this in Nigeria in 2021. So far, we've been able to make over $400,000 in revenue with over 40,000 40, users. The market is huge. In US, our healthcare market is $4 trillion. But we're focusing on the SAM of $128 billion, which is about from ages 30 to 69. And we're even scaling that down from, from ages 25 to 50, to, that will give us a sum of two billion. We're working with doctors and corporations. So we're targeting individuals and we're targeting corporations. We make money through subscriptions. Our baseline subscription is $899. And we make money at the same time with margin on our retail uh, devices. Like I said earlier, we partner with doctors, we partner with insurance company, we partner with the government, and of course we use social media to market our product. Competition abound everywhere, but we set ourselves apart from these three top tiers that we consider major competition, forward, doctor on demand, and teledoc. We're able to, prove, to give you all the, our solution in one platform. You're not jumping from one platform to another platform and we're able to give you one price with a doctor visit, with, with your wellness, all in one. Our team is very rich. We have over 60 years experience in medicine, 
my, I myself, 30 years of, uh, of highlight health and wellness in the U.S. I've been practicing in the U.S. for the last 30 years. Our, C, our CTO has over 20 years in software development and technology. And our marketing guy is an Harvard Health BS with over 10 years in marketing and branding. We're currently raising $2 million on a safe note to give us $10 million post-money valuation to deliver a 6 million ARR in the next 24 to 36 months. We will use the money for marketing, for operation, for hiring, of course, for more product development. Thank you. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm CEO and co-founder of Addict Incorporated, connecting video streaming and e-commerce. So COVID-19 changed our lives forever. People started streaming more videos online and people started buying more products online as well. This has brought a new hybrid to e-commerce. It's called video commerce. It's thriving in China and it's just beginning to pick up in America. But the problem that we are solving is that video streaming platforms have not integrated shopping yet. So say you're watching a video on Netflix. How do you identify the products you find? How do you buy them on the spot? Edeki solves this problem by connecting those two markets together. We've provided APIs and FCKs, which basically are connectors that ensure that third-party streaming platforms have shoppable videos. We've also built browser extensions, which you can plug in on your system that will help you recognize all the products you find on YouTube and buy them. We've also built a brand new streaming platform that is on Android and iOS, enabling a TikTok-like experience that enables you to buy products easily as well. How we do this? We use artificial intelligence. It helps us to tag all the products in the video, be it a short video or a long documentary. It doesn't matter. It finds all the products in the video and tags them and helps you to connect with the products. We ensure that there's recommendation of products we ensure that there's identification and there's also one-click checkout, making it perfect, seamless for purchase. It's the new way of shopping. Back in 2016, Ted Baker released a short video of three minutes. It sold products worth 100,000 within a week. When you superimpose this to the hundreds of billions of videos on YouTube, you get the idea. It's a new industry. We can tell it's worth $3.67 trillion. But Edeki is focused on the fashion industry in America at this time. It's a $200 billion industry, but we are looking to capture 10% of that market. By collaborating with content creators and video production companies, Edeki stands to aim revenue what $1 billion in the next five years. It's a great idea. We are one startup that has more knowledge about shoppable videos or video commerce than any other startup out there. We started building solutions since 2017 when we built our first hardware solutions for shoppable videos. We'll file a patent for this. Right now, we have started building software versions of it using artificial intelligence, making it easier for you to identify and purchase products. My team has over 50 years experience in this area. We are looking to raise a million dollars with which we will scale our business in America making it easier for you to be able to access this technology. If you like this, reach out to me. I'm waiting to hear from you. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Iskren and I'm one of the founders of Kindlink. Did you know that more than 75% of employees are ready to take a pay cut in order to work for a corporate that is socially responsible. More than 80% of consumers would prefer to purchase from such a business compared to a competition. The good news is more than 80% of companies already have existing corporate social responsibility programs in place. However, how are these companies engaging their employees and inspiring them to stay more, retaining their clients, and inspiring them to purchase more from them. Kindlink is an OE1 platform for corporate responsibility and sustainability management and promotion. We help companies increase employee engagement by giving them a one platform for all their activities. 
We provide them with an innovative marketing tool to externally share those activities with their clients. We give them unique impact updates from the charities they support. We are unique and able to do this as we have developed the first free all-in-one charity software, now used by more than 3,000 charities globally. The business model is simple. We charge companies, depending on their size, and the software features they choose to use, an annual subscription fee. Over the last seven years, we have been developing this company. In the last three years, we have been profitable. We service global clients from the legal and the banking sector, and we process millions of dollars every year through our online payments facilities, grant management, and matching. We do have fierce competition. A company from Canada is already a unicorn, and another one in the US are the top players in the market. However, both those players focus on the enterprise B2B solution. They don't have an SME focused solution, they don't have an external marketing angle or direct impact reporting. The market is very big. We have over 17 billion in total addressable market. Every year companies spend over 1 billion already on services like ours. We're aiming to capture about 10% of this market, 100 million annual recurring revenue in the next five years. This is the team behind Kindlink. I come from financial services and sales experience, Adriano with non-profit experience, and our CTO has over 15 years of IT experience and architecture. We have eight angel investors, and we have been through a number of accelerators in the UK and now in the US. To date, we are looking for more corporate introductions, either clients or partnerships that can help us scale in the HR, tech, or enterprise solutions, companies like Microsoft or Salesforce. This is to prepare us for a round of 2 million later in the year. Over the last seven years, we have been growing our charity network. We have released our B2B proposition and are profitable today. The next step for Kindlink is to open to the world with our B2C app and create the social network with purpose. Thank you. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Ajay and I am from OD Works. So OD Works is an on-demand works platform. It helps small to mid-sized businesses for outsourcing their marketing and web development needs. Our focus is that we provide the best proposals from the most trusted agencies. Do you know there are over 400,000 agencies globally, but even then 77% of our businesses struggle to find a right service partner. I can start by sharing my example. So before OdWorks, I was working on another idea and I come from a non-technical background. It was a hassle for me to find a right development partners to even build my MVP. I reached out on the platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancers, I did a Google search and reached to multiple agencies. Some of them responded and most of them didn't even respond. And the proposals which I got from those agencies were varying drastically. The cost in those proposals were varying significantly. Like I tell you a simple logo design at time can cost $100 to $100,000. And I had a similar challenge when I was looking for a marketing agencies to grow my business. To solve all this challenge, we have designed OdWorks, a platform, especially for smaller mid-sized mid business, which help in finding the right service partner, which manage that and make sure the project gets delivered through the platform itself. Once client agree to work with us, we first help in defining the scope of work. We pass it on that scope of work to our vetted agencies. Each of these agencies are handpicked. So they get the scope of work, these agencies get the scope of work, they start submitting proposals on those projects. We vet those proposals and pick choose the best three ones which are having a competitive rates and are best quality to, the our, to our client. Client have an option to pick choose compare those proposals on the platform itself. Once client approve our proposal, they can start working on the project through our project management tool. They can have the conversation, they can have approvals, file sharing and everything over the platform itself. It gives us a visibility in terms of the quality, the deliverability, the timeliness of the project. This is fairly simple for the client. They just need to come on the platform, put up the request, 
we match it with the matching agencies they get the proposals over the platform they can compare they can reject they can approve and the entire project can be managed through our project management tool we don't charge anything from the client our agency pays commission from 2 to 30 percent and till now we have delivered projects for marketing strategies social media marketing email marketing content marketing it's an end-to-end -end platform for all kind of a marketing services some of our project are a one-time project and some of them are a monthly retainer projects till now we have helped 36 clients from four different countries through our 200 service providers we have delivered projects over 1.3 million in last 10 months we have a retention rate of 90 percent 90 percent of our clients are coming back with more and more requirement and we have a project posting to project closure rate of 56 percent this is a huge market it's a $400 billion market and out of that $120 billion is contributed by smaller mid-sized businesses. It's growing at a rate of 9.4% and 40% of it is being contributed by US alone. If we are able to have the funding, we are targeting 24 million by end of next year. And without funding, our internal target is of $6 million. As I mentioned, there are certain competition like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancers, Brief, but they all are a listing platform. But what ODWorks is doing is it's a one-stop platform where we help in getting the best proposals. We help in discover, connect and manage the right service partners for them. This is our team. So I come from the business side. I have worked with companies like Paytm, Expedia, Hindustan Times in the past. My partner Japneet, he is already running an agency for last 14 years. It's a full-fledged agency. Our ask is like we are looking to raise a $1 million dollar for a 10% of equity. Most of it is going in our sales enablement, in our sales automation, hiring our sales team and the marketing functions. Our main focus is to expedite our growth. Uh, this is it. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Santiago. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Unifier, an AI data analytics SaaS. I have over a decade of B2B sales experience and I scale up teams from 10 up to 60 people headcount. And let me tell you that one of the most important challenges you have when scaling up a business is that you implement multiple solutions to solve individual issues, but they don't talk to each other. So that ends up with more than 20 monthly hours of the executive teams recovering data from all these sources and uploading that into Excel sheets. That's why we have created a platform that centralizes all the data into one place. And how does it work? Simple. You just log into our platform, sync your data and in two clicks, and with our AI assistant, you just ask whatever dashboard you want to build, and it's built in seconds. Our business model is simple. We are a B2B SaaS with two different plans, $4.99 and $7.99 per month, with an 85% gross margin. And we are in our roadmap in order to reach $600,000 in revenue by end of 2023. The market opportunity is huge. There are more than 60 million SMBs from 50 to 500 headcount. And we are targeting 33K here in the US in order to reach a market of $200 million per year. Compared to our competitors, we have an AI assistant that is a key differentiation and we have targeting founders and executives in order for them not to need any technical team and get their answers just in seconds. We have launched in 2021 with a fintech product and that integrated more than 10 HR softwares and we found out that they don't talk to each other and that was not only HR but a company business problem. That's why we have already launched here in the US. We have more than 13 customers and we are on our roadmap in order to reach 280 customers by end of 2024. And I cannot do this without my technical team as the co-founders. Brian and Christian are the both in charge of creating our product and bringing to life all the things I promised to our customers. We also have top tier investors that are already back us. We are seeking our seed round of $1 million at an $8 million post one evaluation cap in order to reach our milestones by end of 2024. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Sherzad. I'm co-founder of OneUp. We're building the fastest way for job seekers to find their first job. 
The reason we're working on this project is that, uh, like millions of others, when I was graduating from university, I thought that the job application process was too tedious and I spent hundreds of hours on applying for jobs. Uh, thankfully, back then, my roommate, who is now my co-founder, helped me to automate a lot of these processes. And uh, we loved the product, our friends loved it, and uh, that's why years later we realized that this is the product that we can actually uh, work on. Uh, this is how the job application process looks like without one app. You register on sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor. Um, you find a vacancy, you press apply, and it takes you to the company's career site where you have to fill up a job application. And you have to do it over and over again for every job that you're applying for. Uh, this is where OneUp comes in. Uh, we help you to fill out one application form and using that, you'll be able to apply for jobs across the internet. So across multiple job boards, career sites, and even social media platforms. And then you'll be able to track all these uh, applications in one place. Uh, we're just started, so that's why we, we haven't started charging our users. However, we plan to charge applicants and employers for accessing premium features, but we do have a wait list with uh, a lot of uh, users that are uh, willing to pay. The job application market is actually um, overlooked, so first we want to help uh, job entry-level job seekers to find their first jobs, and then we want to help companies to basically hire uh, those entry-level applicants, because we think that that's the only way for us to actually um, scale in the big uh, job uh, application and, and hiring market. Uh, so it's been five months since we started working on one, one app full time, and since then we were able to onboard over 22,000 job seekers and over 2,000 companies without spending anything on marketing or ads. So there are over 10,000 different HR platforms and, and job boards, etc. So how are we different? Well, the thing is that others, they have uh, various different features, uh, however, uh, they all focus on helping employers. That's why they only allow users to apply within a certain site. Uh, however, one app uh, works more like an Expedia for jobs, where uh, we aggregate all the jobs, or we show it to our users, and users, when they press apply, we take the information and we fill it in, um, we fill it in the application forms. Um, so we're on a path um, to become a go-to place for job and university applications. And uh, right now, we only help with filling out the application forms. However, uh, by doing that, we're actually able to map out uh, the internet to find where exactly people are looking for jobs and what kind of applications forms they're filling out. The next step is to aggregate all these vacancies. We already started a small project, so we're able to aggregate the vacancies from some social media sites and some uh, big name websites. Um, and the third step is to actually allow users to do one-click application, where, it's, as I said, you press apply, and then we scrape your uh, vacancy, uh, application, and then we fill it in in the application form. However, uh, one thing we want to do is actually to do a university application forms, because we realize that the university applicants face similar issues as job applicants do. And that will help us to also onboard users before they go to the job market. The reason we think that this team is perfect to solve this issue is that all of us face the same issue ourselves when we're looking for our first jobs. And we all worked in product roles and in various startups, um, and uh, we know exactly how to solve uh, issue, uh, issues using product. Um, so yeah, we're looking uh, for an investment of 500,000 uh, in return for 10% in order to reach 2 million users by July of next year. If you have any questions uh, or suggestions, please email me or contact me via LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Yoma, founder of Travel Bay. And Travel Bay is the most convenient way for people of African descent to experience Africa. Now, last year, the popular actress, Gabrielle Union, she turned 50. Now, on turning 50, she decided to party across four African countries ending up in Ghana. Now, on getting to Ghana, she had this traditional bath where on getting out of the water, she was like, wow, for the first time in her life, she felt connected to something. She felt like she had just discovered her inner superhero. Now, that is an experience that every person of African descent needs to have. Now, but when they want to get this experience, put this tour together, where do they go? What platforms do they take advantage of? What platforms are not fraudulent or risk-free? If you want to go to Italy, UK, easy options. But for Africa, we do not have those platforms. That is where Travel Bay comes in. Travel Bay ensures that you have access to options that make you experience the food, the culture, the fashion, 
the music, the Afro beats that's taking all over the world right now, um, they come to experience and, and discover where it is all coming from. And how do we do this? We ensure that you have access to these platforms through, to, to these experiences through vetted and qualified experience providers spread across various countries in Africa who ensure that these experiences are safe, they are secure, they are the kind of experiences that people really want and people get value for their money. Now, a platform is very is simple. You come on, you book, you create what you want. On our platform, you can even customize what you want to your budget, accept or take a payment plan, okay, and have an experience like a local. The business model, very simple, will charge 15% on every transaction on our platform, and our average transaction is $2,500 for every transaction. Now, over the next five years, our goal is to hit 40,000 bookings, which will result in about $100 million in transaction volume. Now, the market is huge. Um, African Americans are regarded as the fastest growing demographic with respect to travel spending. What we are looking at over the next five years is to target a market volume of $160 million. But just taking Ghana, for example, let's zero in on this. Ghana, over the last five years, has shown unbelievable op opportunities within this space. In 2019, over 55,000 people visited Ghana in just the last quarter of the year. By 2022, this was over a million. That tells you the huge opportunities within this. Just Ghana, not Nigeria, not Gambia, not Senegal, not Ethiopia. It's huge. Why Travel Bay? We understand the continent. We know the continent. We are experienced within the continent. We've been there. We've operated. In the last eight month, 18 months, we've done transaction volumes of over $600,000. Um, we've built social media communities. We have a network of experienced providers over 12, 13 countries, and we keep growing. Um, the competitive landscape is very interesting. We are the only company right now with the kind of experience we have in the continent that is able to provide these services all year round. We also have in-house visa uh, processing services that we can deliver to people of African descent from different countries and continents across the world, and so much more. Now, I'm the CEO. I have, like I said earlier, more than 12 years experience within the travel space. I have Sheyi, who is a travel lead. Um, she has over five years experience in visa consulting, travel advisory, and tour management. We have uh, wrote to me who is the engineering lead, leading a team of about four engineers doing amazing work. We have Anita who is the communications lead. She's great at content, social media, marketing, and ensuring that our value is heard as far and wide as possible. Travel Bay is seeking $500,000 that we might use this as pre precise raise to, to take care of our products, um, development, do that a whole lot more, our marketing, talent hire, and some licenses to ensure that we can operate across Africa. Thank you. Hi, my name is Richmond Ogigai. I'm the co-founder for Wallex. 62% of small and medium enterprise businesses in Africa struggle so hard to manage their business operation or even struggle to find various digital payment tools for them to be able to transact on a daily basis. And statistics shows that 57% of customers who experience bad payments never come back to these stores. And this is a huge problem for small business owners because of course that reduces their sales, their revenue, and even have to, have to struggle to grow. With Wallex today, we have created an operating system fully focused to small business owners where they can enjoy very smart, quick, and secured digital payment tools. And of course, if you, uh, I mean, uh, of course, business tools that are very useful for them to grow their business. Today with Wallex, small business owners can open a bank account for themselves and even for their customers in five minutes, especially if they have customers who don't have a bank account or even a mobile money wallet. In addition to that, we've created smart tools for them to be able to manage their sales transaction, be able to do customer marketing, and enjoy some of the benefits that helps them to continue to grow their business from the operating system we've provided. Today, we have competing in a market in a $900 billion market, and we hope to get about 2% of that market by 2025. We are profitable because we are doing $50,000 month on month in revenue. We've processed over 57,000 transactions since we started in September 
2022. We have in our, in our portfolio today 175 businesses that are excited about what we are doing and they're currently using that. We have also established over 2,000 consumer users who are on a daily basis transacting through our merchant on our platform. Our business model is pretty straightforward. Uh, currently, we are doing a transactional-based model where we charge 25 cents per transaction, and we hope to move to a SaaS model where we introduce more, more business tools to these small businesses as they continue to grow. Our competitive landscape is pretty straightforward. We've created a proprietary payment tool, which is the use of pay code, where these merchants can be able to accept such payment method when customer walks up to them or process any kind of money that has been sent from someone who, to someone who has no bank account or mobile money wallet from anywhere. We do not provide hardware terminals. And of course, we provide a set of tools that is purely skilled to these small businesses to help them succeed. Today, we are helping these businesses to reduce failed payment, to process payment a lot faster, to increase their sales activities, grow their revenue, make better decisions, and they are able to reduce their customer churn. Today, we are asking for a million dollar in equity at a $10 million post-money valuation, and 30% of that is for us to be able to use to acquire an additional license to increase our collection, and of course, increase our, and, and continue to improve our product uh, development uh, uh, activities, and also hire for the future. These are the things that we intend to use the money for. We expected with this money to grow by 4x and of course grow our, our merchant base by 12%. Uh, I'm a second time founder with a successful exit in 2019. I have over 15 years of experience in banking, in technology and in finance. I also have a team that is solidly behind me that has a combined 35 years experience. I belong to the Open Banking Association and the FinTech uh, 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 association in Nigeria that gives me, you know, opportunity to understand the regulatory uh, industry and puts us in a better position. Thank you very much as we make Wallex an, an investment that can change the, part, the narrative for small and medium enterprise business. Thank you. Hi, I'm Manuel. I'm Felix. And we are program managers here at StarVC. Thank you for joining us for the conclusion of our Spring 2023 Batch Demo Day. And our founders worked very hard and we cannot wait to see what lies ahead for them. If you are an international founder and you want to apply to our Startup Accelerator, you will find the link in the video description. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Our founders will reply. And if you want to speak with them, go to our website and you can contact them. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>